pay-per-view. It's now called May-per-view. None other than the man himself. Okay. All right, Austin. You up. Muchas gracias, Leonard Ellery. Muchas gracias. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much. Greatly appreciate it. You know, it's uh, <laughs> being being involved in these promotions. Uh, you know, I know what it's like. The fighters want to get up here and talk, and uh, so we're gonna cut it short and get right down to business. You know, um, it is my pleasure. Um, you know, to know this young man who uh, I actually look up to. Um, a young man who uh, has, has been persevering, who has worked hard, um, who, uh, who uh, is a person who is true, a person who uh, is honest, a person who uh, doesn't run from anything, doesn't hide from anything. He is who he is. Whether you love him or not, he is who he is. And I can say most people love him because uh, he has a real heart. And it transcends over to his boxing. He's a fighter. He's a fighter who works hard, a fighter who has been down, a fighter who always going to get back up and fight even harder. Um, he's had a great career, but it's only the beginning. You know, and I, I say that uh, when he captured that. WBC world title against Andre Berto, who's a one heck of a fighter, one explosive, fast, strong fighter, very talented fighter. Um, you know, he showed everybody and proved everybody what he's all about. Um, he uh, is the current WBC uh, champion of the world. He does have a record of 29-2 and 22 knockouts. And I actually didn't know this. Uh, every opponent that he's fought and faced has touched the canvas, uh, which is goes to show you, yeah, he's strong, he's strong, but he's also a fighter who is smart. And, uh, and I know he's gonna have fun inside that ring come Saturday night. Um, with a record of 22, 29-2-22 of Ventura, California, by way of Garden City, Kansas City, the man who is going to beat my record of 2.4 million homes, Victor Ortiz. Finally, man, I was falling asleep over there. Jesus. Um, so I sense a little bit of uh, a little bit of nervousness around this area. Oh, this little section right here. You guys. Uh, you know what? I just want to say thank you to everyone for being here, personally. Um, Floyd and T. Mayweather, thank you for the opportunity. But then again, let's not forget, I am the current WBC welterweight champion of the world, and that will remain. And I'm going to teach you what it feels like to have that one on your record, bro. I have two, so. And two jobs. Yeah, you know, two and two, you know. It just kind of happens. You know. Not a biggie, no biggies. It's gonna be very, very nice, bro. Just to do what everybody else has tried and failed. Uh, Forty-one and oh, I think something like that. Um, Forty-one of those weren't me. Forty-one of those couldn't move like me. Oh, we're talking about class here. <laughs> Somebody's, somebody's scared, but you know what? Saturday night, I will hold my hands up. I'm gonna put you on your ass. You ain't gonna help us. Well, first off, I always gotta acknowledge, you know, first off, I wanna thank God, because without God, all this wouldn't be possible. <clears throat> There's so many different people that I want to thank so many different sponsors. And first, I want to thank my team, you know, Team Mayweather, the money team, 
You guys done a hell of a job. You guys, <clears throat> talking about camp, camp was tremendous. My team done a hell of a job. Um, Golden Boy Promotions, Richard Schaefer, you, are, you guys always go beyond. You guys do a hell of a job. Mark Taffet, Jose Suleiman, Mr. The younger Suleiman, I'm sorry, and a father. Um, Oscar, you guys done a hell of a job with Victor Ortiz's career. I'm not gonna sit right, I don't have to sit up here and brag and boast about my accolades of what I've done in the sport. It speaks for itself. I don't have to knock his trainer, knock him, discredit him for nothing that he's done. It's obvious he got here for doing something right. And I got here, and I've been here for 16 years from doing something right. I fought undefeated fighters, I fought knockout punchers, fought them all. Never backed down, stayed focused, always stayed in control, and always at, was at my best. Al Heyman, of course, you know, couldn't do it without you. Um, team up top, um, Saeed Uwali, he's fighting on the undercard. He's with my team. Kania Bowser Edwards. Um, who else we got? We got Jesse Vargas and um, Deion Savage. Um, that's, that's my team, you know. Um, all the press, the media, you know. I want to thank you guys, you know, for keeping me relevant. Even with my long layoff, you guys kept me relevant. And I really want to thank you. You know, it's just, you know, jealousy won't get you nowhere. You know, so I'm, I've never been jealous of no one. And like I said before, um, it's, you know, certain things you, certain things you see that you do like, and there's certain things that you don't like. Not only, it's all of a sudden, I don't respect Mayweather. I never was a fan of Mayweather. But you know my record, you know everything about me, you know everybody that I fought. But it's okay, you know, come, come Saturday, I don't have to brag, I don't have to boast. Um, before the fight, I don't have to do nothing. I go in there, I'm gonna execute the game plan. I'm gonna go in there with class and leave with class. Is Victor Ortiz a good fighter? Yes, he is. If, if it's an easy task or a hard task, I put in the hard work to put up a tremendous fight and get a fan's excitement. So you guys don't have to worry about me um, backpedaling. I'm coming straight ahead. So hopefully he's coming straight ahead. He said the fight won't go to distance. I said the fight won't go to distance. So it won't go to distance. Um, my team, there's so many people that I want to thank, you know, that's been there, been behind me, and have supported me. You know, I come from a fighting family. I've been doing this my whole life. Never worked a job, never had a job. My job has always been to win. I was, I was built on winning, this country was built on winning. And like I, like I always say, Mayweather loves Mexico. I love to take a vacation to Cancun and, to Cancun and Cabo San Lucas, and my favorite places. But there's no country like America. You know, every time you see different athletes come to the American soil and, and, and acknowledge their country and, and, and acknowledge their flags, I'm gonna acknowledge this America, the red, white, and blue. 9-11, I stand strong for this country. Victor Ortiz, your team has done a hell of a job. With, this is my fifth time doing 24-7. You guys, you guys were entertaining. The brother from the surfing, actually, you shocked me when I seen you were surfing. I'm like, oh shit. So, you know, you're an amazing athlete. Come Saturday, I know you're gonna bring your best. You're in tip top condition. I'm in tip top condition. So let's get the fans what they wanna see. They wanna see excitement. They wanna see blood, sweat, and tears. That's what we're here to give them. He talked about, he had good work for his training camp, you know. I had tremendous work for my training camp. Kasim Uma, DeAndre Lattimore, Sekou Powell, and a couple other guys. So I had strong, strong work. You know, I don't call work, I don't call them spawn partners because that's a sign of disrespect. 
I call it good, strong, solid work. And that's what I have for this camp. The media, you guys done a hell of a job. A hell of a job. But there's a lot of people that's behind the scenes, people don't know. I got to acknowledge 24 seven on both sides, on Victor's side, on my side, um, Lee, um, the commercial was unbelievable. Everything um, that I asked for, asked for. Um, Sam Watson, the two Watson, the two Watson boys. Yeah, y'all famous for y'all famous on that TV. <laughs> y'all at every fight. Give me a water.